At the start of the movie, we see a boy named Day sleeping in a dry swimming pool. He notices that his hand has been badly injured when he awakes from sleep. In addition to his hand, his body was also injured in various places. When he completely restores his senses he notices his feet. There he sees a crocodile attacking his foot. He was being dragged towards the crocodile. Day kicks the crocodile by using his other foot, as a result, the crocodile leaves his foot and tries to follow him. Day hits it with a bucket keeping a safe distance. When the dog sees the whole situation, it begins to bark from the edge of the pool. As the camera zooms out, Day is seen in a deep pool. There were no stairs to come out of the pool. Now the scene shifts to six days before, where we see the pool which was filled to the brim. Day was doing a photo shoot in the water. We see a sofa thrown into the water. Later a model was posing in a joker's getup. During the shooting, Day's friend Koi also arrives there with his dog. They were enjoying themselves there. Later we see Day injecting insulin as he was a diabetic patient. Koi also arrives there and they both have some conversation. Later, the shoot gets wrapped up. They take group photos and enjoy themselves. They leave from there one by one. The next morning, Day comes there to shut the pool as no one stays at that place. Day's friend comes there to meet him and tells him that he is going for a tour. While he was leaving from there, he pulls the lever of the pool to drain the water. He comes to Day and ties his dog to a grill. His friend requests Day to come out of the pool as the water level will go down soon, and it will be difficult to come out as it does not have any stairs. Day positively responds to his words and requests him to order a pizza before leaving. Day's friend leaves that place after placing the order. But Day unknowingly sleeps on a raft in the pool. Hearing the barking sounds of his dog, Day awakes after some time. He tries to get out of the pool as he feels that the water level in the pool was very low. He tries very hard to move from there. But his nails get injured due to that attempt. He yells from there for help, as he feels that he will never get out from that place. When the camera zooms out and we see him at a deserted place. There wasn't anything and none came there to help him. At that place, we see Day's phone connected to a charging pin. His phone slides to the edge of the pool when it receives a call and later it hangs with the charging wire. Day jumps to grab the phone. But the phone falls into the water and gets dead. Later, he tries to stop the draining water by putting a cloth inside the drain. In the meantime, the pizza delivery boy arrives there when Day was busy in the pool and he couldn't see Day. The delivery boy sees here and there, but couldn't see anyone. The boy calls Day's friend who has ordered pizza. Day's friend requests him to leave that place by dropping the pizza there. The delivery boy does the same and Day also feels someone presence there. He hurriedly tries to come to the surface. But his belt gets stuck in the drain and the delivery boy leaves from there. Day feels someone will definitely come to save him and without thinking much about it he sleeps again. Finally, after some time, Koi arrives there. She notices Day sleeping in the pool and without noticing the water level she comes to the platform to dive into the water. Due to the noise, Day awakes and forbids Koi to jump. Unfortunately, Koi's foot slips and her head collides with the platform as a result she falls into the pool. Koi gets fainted due to the wound on her head. Day immediately lays Koi on the raft. He tries to stop her bleeding with the help of a rope in the pool. Water level decreases to a low level when the night falls. Day notices Koi's injury and a blood clot appears on his hand when he touches Koi's head. Day becomes worried seeing all this. Meanwhile, his dog starts barking as it notices a crocodile was moving towards the pool through the main entrance. Day also notices the crocodile and gestures to his dog to keep quiet. The crocodile's foot slips, before it could attack the dog, as a result, it also falls into the pool. Now this situation becomes very critical for Day. On one side was his injured friend, and on the other side empty dangerous pool. From which they couldn't come out. Now a crocodile arrived there to make matters worse. The worst thing is, no one would come to help them even from a far distance. They don't have any food or water. The crocodile still didn't see Day and his friend. As the night passed pool becomes empty by morning. Koi was still unconscious. 
The crocodile was sleeping on the other side of the pool with an open mouth. Day again sees Koi and her head was bleeding a lot. Day sees here and there, later he sees the crocodile's mouth. There he notices a duct tape in its mouth. It was the tape that might have been used during the shoot. Day tries to snatch that tape from the crocodile's mouth. During this attempt, the crocodile awakes. It angrily growls at Day. Day hurriedly reaches Koi and wraps her wound with the tape. We see a bucket full of water near Day and Koi. Day filled it with the pool water so as to drink. Later, he notices a vent. He plans to escape by going through that vent. Day opens the vent cover and checks Koi. The crocodile moves into the vent before Day could enter the vent. Day waits for the crocodile to return but when it does not return, Day moves inside the vent putting his life at risk. When he comes to the exit, he notices the exit is locked from outside. In the meantime, the crocodile again comes into the pool. It moves towards Koi when she was alone. Day immediately arrives there and throws the crocodile to another side. Finally, Koi restores her senses. After some time Day sees his dog eating pizza. Later the dog throws pizza into the pool for Day. Here, Koi and Day eat something for the first time in those three days. The next morning is the fourth day for them. They don't even have water to drink. Day feels dizzy as his energy levels were exhausted. He remains fainted for the whole day. At night, Day finds Koi with him when he awakes. Koi informs him that it is a female crocodile and it laid some eggs during the day. They again get a chance to fill the bucket when the rain starts. The next morning when Day was sleeping, we see the crocodile moving towards him to attack. Before the crocodile could attack him, it falls into the drain. Day also awakes and immediately locks the crocodile in that vent. Later they both produce fire with the help of grass and Day's glasses. Now they boil the crocodile's eggs to quench their hunger. They move the sofa to the edge of the pool during the night and try to move out from there. But they couldn't succeed in their attempt. Day and Koi accept their defeat. They are unsure whether they would see the sun the next morning. The crocodile again enters from the vent. The crocodile moves forward to attack Day when it sees its eggs broken. But Day goes inside the vent and closes the vent before it could attack it. As we know that Day is a diabetic patient. He needs insulin as it is his fifth day in the pool. His condition starts to deteriorate. In the meantime, Day notices an insulin injection outside the vent. He tries hard to get hold of the injection. Unfortunately, the injection breaks as he could not hold it perfectly, and after all this, Day and Koi start weeping. Day notices a case, which turns out to be his insulin case. Day's friend could have mistakenly thrown it in the drain. Finally, Day injects insulin. After some time, they notice a flying parachute. Day returns to the pool and alerts Koi to cover the drain. Reaching there he discovers, it wasn't a parachute but was a kid's toy. Day starts shouting loudly for help. There we see a strong storm emerging, as a result, a barbed wire falls inside the pool. Day was happy as the wire could withstand his weight. Even though his palm gets injured, he doesn't stop climbing and when he was about to reach the pool's top, unfortunately, the wire loses its grip on the rod. As a result, he falls inside the pool again and gets fainted. Now we see the starting scene of the movie. The crocodile was biting his foot when he was unconscious. Day releases his foot from the crocodile. He lays for a while as he gets very tired doing all this. During the night rain starts again and we see Koi still inside the tunnel. The water starts filling the tunnel as it was blocked. Koi bangs a barrel to alert Day. Hearing it, Day again goes into the tunnel. This time, he decides to go to the other side of the tunnel. This wasn't good for him because there was another pool on the other side of the tunnel and it was deeper than the first one. Now it was their seventh day in the pool. Finally, two people arrive there to retrieve their toy parachute from the pool. They insert a ladder into the pool and take their parachute. They could not see the crocodile as it was under the sofa. Day hears their voice from the other pool. He calls them for help. They leave from there when he comes into the previous pool. Fortunately the ladder was still hanging there. Now the rain starts again and the crocodile attacks him when he tries to move towards the ladder. 
On another side, water was submerging the tunnel in which Koi was hiding. He feels Koi could be dead. Meanwhile, Koi gives a sign that she is still alive when the croc was about to kill him. Seeing Koi alive, Dei finds hope and fights with the crocodile. He pierces the crocodile with a sharp stick when he gets a chance. Later, Dei moves towards the ladder. The ladder moves away before he could hold it. Because the barrel rolls with which the ladder was tied. It takes away the ladder with it. Dei loses all the hope as he misses the last chance. Just then, Koi whistles and this sound attracts the dog. Dei warns the dog not to jump. But the dog jumps, now the dog was hanging in the pool with its chain and it dies with suffocation. Dei becomes furious as he has to save Koi at any cost. He comes out of the pool with the help of the chain attached to the dog. At last, he comes out of the pool on the seventh day. He moves to the tunnel where Koi was present. He tries to open the tunnel with the help of a pipe. But he was about to fall into the